something we talk to our kids about all the time, winning on the field and winning at life. Our program goals. Success is intentional. Success is intentional. Being successful does not happen on accident. It's intentional. It's on purpose. It's on your mind. Uh, your actions have to be geared towards it. Your goals have to be, uh, uh, you have to be consumed with it to me. On the field and in life, the decisions that you make have to be intentional. Nothing happens on accident in our game. You don't win games on accident. You don't lose games on accident. Uh, and usually when you find a lot of successful people, um, it's because they made a lot of successful decisions. Here's the myth. As long as you're good in the, on the field, you can be mediocre in every other area of your life. And that's what a lot of the young athletes get told. As long as you're good on the football field, you are allowed to be subpar in the classroom, subpar as a teammate, subpar in the community, because you're good on the football field. Turn on the TV and watch. This is not my opinion. Just turn on the TV. How many times over and over and over again do we see big time athletes that can make big time plays that are winning all over the field and losing everywhere in life? I mean, it's painful sometimes. So what is our responsibility in our player's life to make sure that it doesn't happen to them? And the myth is you don't have to be perfect. Nobody's going to be perfect. I ask our guys all the time, raise your hand if you played a, a, a perfect football game. You know, you play defensive back, you play 70 snaps. Raise your hand if you've played a perfect game. I never have. It doesn't exist. The perfect game doesn't exist. But you have to be complete. You have to be complete. And that's where the challenge is, is when you go through a game, you have to do enough things right in order to give yourself a chance to win. It's the same thing in a walk of life. We all fall short, and uh, there is not one that hasn't sinned. But we are still in a process, as James 1 says, of being mature and complete, lacking nothing. And that's the process that happens in life, and it's the same process that happens in our player's life and on the football field. How can we coach kids to be complete? How can we coach kids to know how to fail and get back up again and brush themselves off and keep walking on that path that we're trying to get them on?